I wonder if we can be lucky with a moose. That would be kind of good. Another one. Gonna take a good couple of shotgun shells. He's facing the wrong way. Oh, no, we're trying to off. Good morning everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of a um, speed up. Uh, that was the last three days. Um, some of the worst loot days I've seen in this game. Um, but I wanted to include it so that you could see how I achieved what we've got going here. I had to bring this little curve back a half a block because it was hanging over the edge of the rock which I definitely didn't want. Uh, uh, kind of a little bit about having it here in the first place but we're gonna have to because we need to go up and to go up I need steps and stairs and, and stuff so I'm gonna put uh, this piece in here for now we can always lift it if we want to put a drill down there later on and I thought here I'll use that half piece to set a wall half a block back here and then sort of fence that corner off and we can use that as um, you know, storage, storage crates, and my my little fascia ball can go in there. I think there's enough room, just about. Um, so, as you saw, we've finally got some sinew from a donation from the moose, and um, yes, it was a little bit uh, risque, uh, when I put it that way, um, but it was a level one moose, and I thought it was worth the risk. Uh, it's a quick and easy way of getting sinew early game, uh, but yeah, now you know why I always carry a splint uh, for just such eventualities. So there we go, we have our boots. Uh, so the sun is up. Uh, as I say, you haven't really missed anything because I included in the little snippet uh, pretty much everything that had happened over the last few days. Uh, most of it was raining and miserable and the loot just wasn't spawning. I, I've never seen it that bad. Uh, usually as you're running around you'll find some loot, but yeah, just wasn't. So we're not far off placing the BCU. Um, we'll have a couple of days after we've placed it anyway, but I, I would like to get a, um, sort of a fighting wall. I'm going to put a window here uh, so we can see down there, and I'll put a solid wall in here because we can cover all of that anyway. Um, and as you saw I've deliberately worked out to, to get this so that the rock is covered at the top there I dropped the whole base just a fraction um, 
and as I say I wanted to include it because it was quite a lot of work. I've also twisted the base round slightly, it's a few degrees left of where it was, um, which kind of gave me a, a bit of a better curve I think. And dropping the base obviously we've got a little bit of ground in it now but that shouldn't be a problem. So um, our meat is perishing already, we've got loads of chicken um, but I'm trying to keep it separate uh, because of the way um, it was cooked so hopefully you know, we can eat it oldest first but uh, rabbit first obviously anyhow right let us go and see if we can find some loot uh, I've got a few nails but not really enough and I'm really hoping the game will have decided this time to at least spawn some crates in I, I literally ran from here all the way up to the far end of the valley on the saddle area without seeing a single crate. Um, it was just dire. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know exactly uh, what caused that, but well, that's the game, I guess. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. That wolf stays up there. Deliberately letting the fire go out. I haven't forgotten about it. Uh, just trying to keep it lit all day means making frequent visits back. And we need some veg. Um, yeah, having to go back all the time means I can't go far from the base, which is a bit of a nuisance. So I'll let it go out. I, we've got plenty of. Um, fire starters and means to make them. So, seems a bit silly to just keep chucking logs on for the sake of it. And lots of animals. Not much else. That's just spawned in, or whether I missed it. I saw a crate over there somewhere, but obviously not. Doing quite well on feathers at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, I think I've got 34. But I don't really need the chickens. Uh, the rabbits we definitely do need. I'm going to save my arrows for rabbits at the moment. to find a crate just on its own like that. Okay. 
He's been wandering a long way, doesn't he? I'd like to get up high if I can, because do a view down over the tall grass. But there's a crate down there. And not a lot else. Yes, anyway. I like the rabbit though. See if this wolf will turn around. Go away, wolf. Further. Further than that. Take your time, we're not in any rush. No, he's gonna hover around, isn't he? We'll carry on up for a bit. Maybe uh, he'll move and we'll get it on the way back. I have been occasionally crafting some fishing lures, so um, at some point I shall be coming down and doing a load of fishing. Uh, probably won't bore you with all that. Some medicinal tonics going. We're going to need health packs and bandages, which is cloth, of course. Um, I do like to carry a stamina pack with me for days, especially an early game when you, you're out doing a long loot and you run out of food and veg maybe, and the uh, stamina keeps dropping if you run into trouble chased by something, having a stamina pack in your hot bar is a lifesaver. Okay, so that's pretty good. We still need to do the island and the lake. Um, kind of been all the way around there, it's just a black blob there. Need to do a bit more of this maybe. Um, that's within the range of where the hunters could spawn. But other than that, we're pretty good. But I would love to have some more loot crates. Just not being very lucky with them at all. Plenty of animals. All my usual haunts where I usually go and, and I'm virtually guaranteed to find uh, lid crates are just not working. Hopefully the game heard me. And plenty of plants, plenty of fibres, and uh, medicinal plants. Even veg hasn't been too bad the last couple of days. But the loot boxes, yeah, definitely rare.
Right, just want to try and get a look up at Twin Rocks. A bit of scrap over there. Again, a lot of animals spawn here, but usually so do the crates. This is pretty much what I've been finding over the last few days. Weather starts off nice, downpour of rain, the occasional loot crate, but nothing to get excited about. Uh, we had one ammo crate there, so I would expect there to be a couple of others close by, but all I'm getting is animals. Chasing you pig, you don't need to turn nasty on me. Alright, I think um, what I'm going to do is head back. Route should go so take us over new ground and there we go. Hopefully find some crates. At least that's the plan. think Need you, chicken? Not yet. Okay. Go the other way, bear. A bit further would be good. Starting to lose the light now, so I think it's time to head back. 
Pick up some of these rabbits. There's an area just around the corner here, I think, that... Um, look. Uh, quite a long trek, isn't it? Over the hills and cold here already. I'll have to leave that for now. if it wasn't pouring down in rain. Okay, we got a few nails now anyway, so that's good. Um, start up here. Another emergency onion. So there we go, another day comes to an end. Now I think what I'm going to do is uh, cook this meat up and see how the time goes, um, but I would like to get the BCU placed uh, so that we can get a wood burner going, um, but I'd kind of like to do that after midnight so that today what little, little is left of it doesn't count as a full day. I think if I put it up today, then tomorrow counts as day one, but if I put it up after midnight, then we buy ourselves a little bit of extra time. Uh, in the meantime, what I would like to do... Not that many planks. Um, we're going to build a full wall and a windowed wall, and then um, a couple of ceilings. So that we can enclose that bit up there. And probably put a quarter panel in there as well. These rabbits. off a little bit, we won't be so cold now. Let's snap into the right place. bit that needs to be worked out. Uh, obviously I'm going to use foundations for the floor there, so that's two foundations. We'll have a wall across here, so we're going to need a set of stairs going up from this direction. Uh, and then obviously if I'm putting a foundation here, that's going to make the jump up here probably be too high, maybe we might get away with it. Uh, so we might need to do something at the back there. And also figure out some kind of a door as well. That's going to be kind of important. But um, I'm going to try and guess when midnight might be. And 
Yeah, not sure we're going to have any clues from the outside world. We haven't got any rogue fires or anything, so I can't use those. But the durability is halfway down on this fire, which is the one, not the first one I put down, this is its replacement. Uh, so rather than make another fire, I would kind of like to use wood burner. But we've got a bit of work to do before we get to that point. So I think we can get away with one foundation and a wall and a stairs. Uh, assuming... I don't think we'll have enough. But let's do uh, wood stairs first. And... We'll do the wall next. Yeah, so we have got enough for a foundation as well. But I did it in that order, and then if I didn't have enough, uh, we could just store the stuff, and it wouldn't matter, or we could you know, put some of it up and not the rest of it. But um, we had enough anyway, that's fine. I think our friendly wolf is back. Yeah. I think he's going to be a few dinners. For this foundation. go, but for the sake of informality, we'll do it that way around. Hmm, that's going to make it difficult to get in here, I think. Could do it there. You can still step up there, but it doesn't look very good. I'll just do it there for now. I can always move it. And apart from more planks then, um, I'm going to need to put a quarter piece in there. And what does that cost? Two. for a full one, buy for a quarter one. You can understand five for a half one, but it's seven for a half one. I think if it's only ten for a full one, it would be five for a half one. Two or three for a quarter one, really, shouldn't it? I don't want that going out just yet. Okay, so that kind of marries up to there and then we'll carry on the, the uh, ceiling piece then from there across. So it'll just be following these four foundations. There are four ceiling pieces. Uh, with the exception of here, where we're going to have to be careful, so make sure we can get up the stairs. So probably three ceiling pieces and a quarter piece, probably. But, um, there we go. So, I think we can reasonably say we've gone midnight now. Um, seeing as the sky is turning red. So, my idea is to put the BCU here. Make it look as realistic as we can, not on the stone. And there we go. Base is online, and we get a lockpick. So the idea is putting the BCU in that, um, you know, right at the back there is 
if the hunters try to take the shortest route to get to it, they're either going to come up behind these rocks or to the side of the rocks, and any grenades or um, molotovs they throw at it hopefully will hit the rocks and not the base. So, there we go. Next few days, hunters will start moving into the world. Good, that's what we need. We need weapon parts so that we can make a revolver by weapon parts. We've got everything else. But uh, so there we are. I um, I really hope you enjoyed that. I uh, showed you a bit of the building of the base, how I set about it, how I make things fit. Uh, in the next episode, more looting. Uh, we need many, many, many more resources. And then I hope to build some kind of a storage rack, um, sort of a facier design into here, if we can get away with it, um, which will still leave me room to access the BCU. Um, and room on this side for the stairs um, here another foundation going out there and then we're going to try and figure out a way of putting a doorway in there so that'll be my main entrance there but uh, all that to come thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed all of that and I'll see you on the next one take care everybody bye bye